So this is a little embarrassing to say this, the least, but this is the attic. And everything over here that you're seeing belongs to me. And, uh, you know, after five years of putting a lot of stuff up here. Okay, I got two big remote controls. You never know what, I never know what I'm going to find. So, if I find anything that's, you know, not a space hog and worthwhile to do a little video about, I might consider it. Because I got a lot up here. I got a big desk in the way, too. This old, uh, old school fan here with the blue buttons on it. Uh, there's a stereo down there. But I already did a review on that. So, yeah. Console, helicopter, and yeah. So, <laughs> I got a lot of shit. So, if I find uh, anything worthwhile, I will definitely do a video. So, after going through all my cubbies and shit, took me about 45 minutes, I came up with this box. Nice big-ass box full of miscellaneous stuff. That I thought I'd just bring down and check out. And if it's uh, worthy enough to be in some of my video. Now I know some of the things I've already done a video of. But well, why not do it again if I feel like it, right? Yeah. Alright, well, be back in a moment. Oh man, so I found quite a bit of things in the attic. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty nifty. Um, this is a color changing glow ball thing. Which is pretty cool. The battery compartment's pretty crappy, but luckily I've got a plug for it right here. And of course the damn thing doesn't want to fit. God damn it. Oh well, it changes colors. I'll just do a video of that later. But yeah, we got this multi-band receiver radio thingy that I, I forgot all about that I got a couple years ago. Gotta get some batteries for it. It takes one, two, three, four, five, looks like eight double A's. Thing takes a lot of motherfuckers. This little baby speaker system, which is good because now I can use it on other things. So, so that still works. Then I got four walkie talkies here, or a F FM trans transceiver. So it says on those two. And uh, yeah, this one, <laughs> this one's from Home Depot. Not sure how it wound up here, but it did. Actually, you know what? I think I know how it got here. Anyway. Um, yeah. I can't remember what batteries these take. I remember using them before. Oh, it looks like three double A's. All right, I'll get that cover on later. Jeez, I'm crow. This is cool. This little key clock. So fucking bright, you can't even see the damn thing. But yeah, it's a, it's a key clock. The thing's cool. This one is beat the shit. There's no cover, no battery cover. It's a miniature micro cassette recorder and dc3 volt looks like it's negative positive all right yeah very dirty oh my god yeah that even runs i'll be impressed if the belt's still intact this sony video high eight camcorder handy cam that doesn't show picture whatsoever so that's why I chucked it in the attic. It's a well, it's high eight kind, and yeah, the objective somewhere. Unless it's electronical, so I can't actually open it while it's unless it's plugged in. Five disc Walkmans. We got an Iowa here. Looks pretty good. <laughs> And we got a JVC model, MP3. Oh my god, there's a disc in there. What the shit? I've been there for years. 
I wonder what's on the disc. <laughs> the CDR, so it's going to be... Oh, you know what? I bet you it's an MP3 disc. So, I'll have to check that out. That's fine. There's a CD in it. This one, a Magnavox. Also a MP3. Jog proof, so you can make them bounce and it won't skip on you. This one, an RCA, this one I've had since I was 13, I'm 28, so it's been around, and wow, it's been used, I mean, look at the whole cover is broken off, but the ribbon cable is not broken, so the screen still works. Wow, yeah, this thing's been through hell. Ooh, and then this, Linux sound. Yeah, five of those, that, and this cool little case block thingy. A stereo to my old car. Where's the tape go? That way? So the head's over there. Oh, there's the pinch. There it is. If I have it upside down, you can kind of see the belt system in there. God, I don't even know how good that is. But this one's, this went to a Dodge Stratus. 1998 Dodge Stratus. So, yeah. Tape player. Good old tape player. This old CD player from 1985. I don't know where the power supply went. But, yeah. I did a video on this a few years ago, too, playing a song. Actually, DC in 9 volt. I could use the plug, as long as it fits. Use the plug on that. And then, this... Um, God damn, where's the, what's the bean cat? It's a, yeah, one of those scanners or whatever you want to call it. But this voltage, this power supply is completely different from a standard plug. So I cannot test it, which is a bummer. Unless I'm clever, but I'm not to do a, do a, like, rig it with something. But I am not taking that chance I'm sparking something and blowing a fuse. Screw that. Um, but yeah, you can, it's got 10 LEDs, search, whatever, squelch, whatever you want to pronounce that as, volume, scan, <coughs> excuse me, manual, so yeah, delay on and off, so I would really like to see that work, and this, for the heck of it, look at this, I found, when I first got my PS3, it was a PS3 fat, and this was the fan that was in it, and since the PS3 died with the Yellow light of death. I had to open it to get my game out because it wasn't one of those models where you can hold down the eject button and it forces the game out. So I pulled it apart, took the fan because the fan's huge, and actually I'll get a USB cord that's cut and I'll hook the wires up at some point and I'll show you the fucking fan running. And this is an old PC power supply. I actually have two fans taped to the front just for looks. They're plugged in to the back, but for looks, I don't know why I did it, but I did it. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so a lot of interesting stuff that I decided to pull out. So, all right. I might get a cord to hook that fan up. If not, I will see you later. And here it is running. It actually pulls a lot of air, too. <laughs> That's surprising. Yep, so, yep, just had it plugged into my computer here. And it is done. All right, see you later. So good news, I got it to power on.
All the buttons are very touchy. So you get the scan and the manual. This is, I think, is ser uh, slow and fast search through channel sweeps. I don't know what any of these buttons do. But they were all up when I got it, so. It doesn't really get very loud. Unless that's because there's no talking. You get delay, on or off. So, and there's no antenna on it, so, but, yeah, found a plug that fit, so, only if I can get an antenna for it, and if it actually picks up something, this will be a sweet scanner, so, all those different channel brands, or whatever you want to call it, the search. These, it's very... Very touchy. Because it's just a scan and it doesn't quite. There we go. But I'm not going to hear anything. There's, yep, fast search, slow search. So, that's cool. Well, now I gotta find some kind of antenna for it and see what I can pick up. Alright, well, till then. See ya.